Hi, in today's video, we will discuss about governing procedure for aseptic area. Governing and degowning in aseptic area is very critical because our body, the human body, is the biggest source of particle contamination. And if we are not doing governing properly, then particulates from the body, microbial contamination from body can go to the aseptic area. So, governing is very important when you are working in aseptic area. Your hygienic practice, good practices starts from home. So, when you are working in aseptic area, your hair should be trimmed. You should be clean shaved daily. Your nails should be cut properly. You should not grow nails. It contains contamination within the nails. You should take bath daily when you are working in aseptic area. So once you reach factory, initially you have to remove your street clothes and put on the factory primary factory garment when you are supposed to go into the production area. This primary factory garment is not uh, going to like you have to do the secondary garment as well but this primary garment is where you can access the production corridor and other areas in some of the companies where if you are supposed to work in aseptic area you have a specific set of primary garment like boiler suit and cap and footwear and you are not supposed to go any other area after doing this primary garment you just have to go to the first change room of aseptic area so, and coming to the classification of gowning change rooms, usually for the aseptic areas, aseptic areas is usually grade B. So, your corridor will be grade D. Your first change room to the entry to the grade B area will be grade C. And subsequent change rooms will be grade B. Sometimes it happens that the first change room, the initial part, Usually we have crossover bench into the aseptic area change room. So the unclean part or the just entry part before the crossover bench will be grade D and the cleaner side of the row across the crossover bench will be grade C. So this is how usually the classification for the aseptic area change rooms works. So once you enter into the aseptic area first change room, Usually you have to put on the face mask. Your face is the like biggest source of contamination when you are you're working in S. This is the area from where the most number of particles are generated when you are working in aseptic area. So you have to first cover your face with face mask. Then a clean pair of booties. It, it will be clean booties and not the sterile booties for the first change room. You just take clean booties, sit on the change room, cross over bench, put one booties on one feet and cross to the that side and second booties and cross to the that side. This practice can be different in different companies. Sometimes they don't have cross over bench, just, just keep a segregation line and you just have to cross over to the other part of line. So you have done mask and clean booties in the first change room. Now you are entering into the second change room, which is grade B. Here you are doing your actual sterile gowning. So what you will do, you first collect a first pair of sterile hand gloves. You open it and done it carefully. So what precautions you have to take? The sterile hand gloves comes folded. So you have to touch First, you have to sanitize your hand with the 70% IPA or the sanitization solution and during the entire governing procedure. After each, search, each step, you are supposed to do the hand sanitization after you each step of governing. So keep your hands germ free, keep your hands bacteria free. So sanitize your hand with approved sanitization solution. Touch the gloves with the folded part which is going eventually we are going to tuck touch and do the uh, and put on the gloves with now using this sterile tips touch the inner part of the second gloves put on the gloves and do it tuck the sleeve inside the gloves and make sure that once you put on the gloves you are not touching any other surfaces unnecessarily during the entire governing process once you do it sanitize your hand now, next step is to go to the other side of 
crossover bench if the crossover bench is provided otherwise, otherwise go to the cleaner side or the clean side of the room sometimes there is a demarcation line into the change room so go to the other side collect a uh, sterile garment sterile garment usually includes headgear or hood the coverall or boiler suit and booties this entire gown will be sterilized and you have to answer sometimes they have a tag or a date expiration date or some color indication which indicates that this garment is sterile you have to check that it is sterile and it's within the sterility expir expiration date now first put on the head gear taking care that you are just touching the inner part avoid touching the external parts of the head gear and put on the head gear once you put on the head gear if it is comes with the thread to tie then just put uh, tie the threads uh, and, and make sure that it fits your face properly now next step is to put on uh, coverall or boiler suit which is again sterile while doing the coverall take care that you touch the external surface minimally your coverall should not touch the floor or avoid uh, that while gowning the gown is not touching to the floor so and some, sometimes the gown comes pre-folded like sleeve comes pre-folded and the uh, uh, sleeves or the foot also comes a pre-folded so that uh, it will not make contact with the floor so take care put like uh, hold the gowns from the inside and do the gowning such a way that it's not touching the floor then put on the hand like put your hand in the sleeves and then then pull it over close the chain if it it comes with the chain the close the chain and tuck your hood or headgear inside and make sure that hood is completely tucked inside your chain is properly closed and it's not exposed pull on your sleeves and by this complete your gowning of the coverall and headgear now comes the booties take sterile booties put it put on one by uh, one by one and uh, tie it if it comes with the elastics then then it will fit properly itself ensure that it's properly tucked inside and remember to do the hand sanitization after each activity once you have done the booties now it's time for the second pair of hand gloves and goggles based on the number of change room what happens that you do the second pair of hand gloves in this change room or if there is a next change room then this activity will be done into the next change room so <clears throat> once you have done this governing put on the second pair of hand gloves second pair of hand gloves usually comes to the elbow length so it covers your entire hand do the sanitization then take the gustral goggles and put on the goggles and then after do, doing all this gowning ensure into the mirror mirror is usually provided into the change room to so that you can make sure that entire your gowning is done properly just check into the mirror that everything is fine if you need to do some adjustment just do it and remember to sanitize your hands once you touch any part of your gown and then after the gowning is complete now you can go into the aseptic corridor or to the work area or the specific room where you are supposed to work now once we have discussed the gowning the gowning is equally important the gowning also includes two change rooms two or more change rooms so what you should do once you go into the exit change room you just remove your uh, goggles your second pair of hand gloves then booties then cover all and finally the headgear headgear should be removed at last and not the first because as i explained your open skin from the face will generate a lot of particles and while degowning also you need to take care that you don't disturb the gown too much just remove it gently uh, keep uh, try to keep inner part exposed as less as possible because all the particles which are contained inside the gown if you don't degown properly it will be exposed again into the 
aseptic area change room and it can go to the area so gently remove try to avoid too much of disturbance of the gown and once you once you remove the gown just fold it gently and put into the bin for the use garment similarly gently remove the headgear and put into the respective bin and the booties put into the respective bin then go to the second change room final exit change room remove your hand gloves and face mask the clean booties and then you can go to the corridor so this is the usual process flow for the gowning and degowning based on the company requirements it can be different number of change room can be more or less but this is the usual practice which is followed for the gowning and degowning for the aseptic area uh, hope this small video helps you to understand if you have question or queries you can put me into you can send to, into the comments and i can try to answer and if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel pharma van thank you thank you very much for watching my full video thank you very much